Breaking Down the Law is sponsored by Battle Born Injury Lawyers. All right, so we were just talking about the class action lawsuit um, that was filed against insurance companies, 10 in particular, who do business here in uh, Nevada. The lawsuits allege the insurance companies failed to lower drivers' premiums in light of severely decreased driving and traffic due to COVID-19 restrictions. So what is the legal basis? And what should drivers know about these lawsuits? Well, here to discuss it all, and uh, pardon me, here to discuss it all, attorney, I almost called you Anthony, attorney Matt Hoffman with Battleboard Injury Lawyers. So Matt, let's get right into it. You know, Kyle, who was talking about this um, in our last segment, kind of went into this a little bit about the suit and what it's claiming that companies were trying to profit off of when it came to COVID-19 restrictions. Yeah, and uh I don't think there's really much question that accidents went down across the nation because people just weren't driving. Um, when you think about the ripple effects of these restrictions, you just have less cars on the roads and you, you don't have parents bringing kids to school. You have a lot of parents not working. And so even if people are driving, they're just not driving as far. The geographic area has changed. And I, I don't think there's any question the number of accidents went down and probably the biggest uh, expense for insurance companies is property damage actually you know you always hear about the big personal injury suits but every day they're paying tons and tons on property damage well if there's no accidents you're not paying out all that money but you're still collecting premiums as though you know you're charging people as though that the same thing's going to happen so that's really the basis of the lawsuits as far as the factual allegations at the at the front end of it right so as a point is that since they're collecting these premiums should they be then giving this money back to their customers yeah, and so what it, what it gets down to is, and you know, the lawsuit just dropped, but you've got consumer protection laws. You know, you can't get, engage in price gouging. You can't engage in consumer fraud. You have to have some reasonable basis to set your premiums. And I find it interesting that the 10 insurance companies that were named, most of them are the biggest names, Allstate, Farmers, State Farm, Geico, Progressive. These are the people that are running the most commercials. They're the ones really targeting the market. And while they gave some token discounts um, and the lawsuit alleges it was more of a PR stunt, the question is whether, you know, what I would ask is internally, are there memorandum, are there emails where the insurance companies knew, hey, we're, we're really overcharging people based on old data and but let's just not doing anything and let's you know get a windfall and we'll, we'll figure it out in the back end yeah. you know that's the number one question i'd have um i think there's also gonna be questions of did the insurance companies act in concert is is this price fixing because if you think about it some of the pricing for car insurance is dictated by the market and if somebody comes in and undercuts you you're going to lose a lot of customers but if you know, if everyone agrees, let's just leave it the way it is, then uh, you have a price fixing, which is conspiracy, essentially. Um, and so I think that that's what you're going to see uh, come out of the investigation on this, depending on how far the lawsuit is allowed to go. Well, just kind of looking at this in terms of the lawsuit, what do you think the odds of this being successful will be? Um, you know, because the, the insurance companies could say, you know, even though we've seen a decline in crashes and there's less people on the roadways, we have seen an increase in, say, more fatal crashes. So maybe one might argue that it is more dangerous on the roadways. And, and I think that would be um, probably the number one defense if they have it is, well, here's the zip code data pre-COVID. Here's the zip code data during COVID. And while maybe the frequency was less, they were more severe. Um, uh, I think that would be a legitimate argument if it's true. The problem is I just don't know how that could even come close, no matter how bad the accidents were, when you're talking about thousands and thousands of property damage claims that just went away. Mm. Um, and, and so I think what the lawsuit is really alleging, it hits at the heart of uh, consumer protection uh, arguments. And, and ins again, it's an insurance company. Insurance companies owe you, as their insured, a duty of good faith and fair dealing. And it's a fiduciary re relationship. And one of the relationships, it's not just the handling of claims, it's setting the premiums. And if they have information showing that in your zip code, we've been just grossly overcharging you, and then they go ahead and renew you and don't take that into account, 
that is very arguably bad faith by the insurance company is taking advantage of the insured. Um, and I think that's where this goes. And again, I want to see the internal documents if we get that far. Well, we will definitely see where it goes and we know you will stay on top of it as you always do breaking yeah. down the law each and every Wednesday for us. Matt Hoffman, we appreciate you. All right, thank you.